Welcome to my project ideas. This is an ongoing series on SAP UI5 projects. And in this video, we'll learn how to convert base64 into image. In previous video, we have learned how to do the opposite one where we converted the image into base64. So we have also created an article for you and this article link will be added in the video description. So here we have discussed some theoretical part where we have discussed how and why we need to convert a base64 to image. So the simple use case is like you have saved your converted image into base64 in database. You will fetch the same from database. And now you want to convert it back into image. That's the use case. There is one way by which JavaScript does. It converts the entire base64 into a blob and then it creates an image on top of it. This is a very lengthy process, but still we have mentioned that part in the article. SAP UFI provides a better and simple solution where it uses its element called image and just set the value of base64 into image and that image element automatically loads the base64 in image format. The code is also mentioned here. So we'll jump to the code. So in this uh, project, we have something called text area, title and image. Text area is the area where we will be copying and pasting the base64 value. This is of no value. Image is the one where we will convert the base64 into image. So once we copy and paste the value, this part of function will be triggered on change. And on change, we have written just two line of code. The very first one is to fetch the value from the text area. And second one is just to set the value in the image. The value will be set in the source parameter. So we have a link already open. This is a third party application where we have already converted a base64 into image. So this is the image and this is the base64. We'll copy this base64. And this is the application that we have just created. We'll replace the base64 value with our own value. And in some time you'll see an image will load here. It takes some time. And yeah, it is here. So in this way, you can easily convert a base64 into an image format. So that's it. We'll meet in another video. Thank you very much.